Hey, what's up, YouTube family? So today the rotors are clean. All the faces are clean. Before any type of removal or cleaning on the uh, wire wheel over there, of course you're gonna remove your apex seals, your side side seals, your springs, everything. Uh, your oil control rings, and then um, let me give you a little tip of how I clean where the side seal goes. Because of um, even though when you remove the spring, when you remove the side seal, there's gonna be a lot of debris, it's gonna be a lot of uh, carbon builder. So, what I do, I'll grab one of the old side seals, and what I'll do is this you put them on the groove, and you're gonna go back and forward so you can get rid of the carbon build. Still sticking up right there. So same way. Put them in there. And just go back and forward. And then a quick tip: whenever you guys are gonna um, ready to assemble the rotors, and you guys already have the side seals, let me show you something. The little angle angle you have to give them. This is how the side seal is gonna look when it's brand new. And you're gonna have a little stone. And the way you're gonna file it down, you're gonna give him a little shape. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me try to, there you go. You see that angle right at the end? I don't know if you guys can see it. It has a little angle. There you go. So you achieve that angle by doing this. You have the stone. And you see where you... You guys see where the uh, seal curves? So you're gonna give it the angle right inside of that curve. So let's see, you're gonna grab it here. You're gonna put it facing down. That's how it's gonna look. You're gonna grab it. You're gonna grab your stone. Let's imagine this is my stone. You're gonna grab it here. This is how you, you're gonna grab your, your seal. Like a little arc going there. So once it's there, you're gonna grab it from here, same position, and you're gonna start filing it down. Going back and forward, back and forward, until you get into that shape. You see that angle right there? Let me see if I can focus around here. There you go. That little angle so this one is that angle why because when you go in here on your rotor you have it in here and you see the circle shape of, of your corner seal so that's why you need that shape so it's gonna be right in there so it goes in here and it really has the shape of the of the corner seal The side goes right there and you always have to be measuring it you're gonna have your corners here in place corners here in place and then you're gonna be filing this one down boom boom and they always checking in there and you're gonna need your gauge filler try to make sure it's on the specifications you need it I don't have my tripod right now so I can sit down on the cell phone uh, with the camera so I can film it uh, anyways, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna assemble it yet because I still have to clean up the carbon build right here. Well, yeah, that was a quick tip and a quick, a quick advice. We had the way to get all the carbon build inside. Old side seal, put them on the group, and start scrubbing it. So, look, all the carbon is coming out. You see all this carbon right here? So that's how you clean it. So let me go ahead and do both of them because I have... 12 sides to clean, 12 groups, uh, I'll be back. But yeah, the rotors are already clean. I'll just have to get the carbon build off. And once it's done, get all the new seals, rubbers, all the goodies, replace the bearings, or maybe I'll leave those, I'll check how they look. 
and then yeah after I clean that they were gonna be ready to inspect again and then it's gonna be ready to assemble all right that's the update thanks thanks for watching so what we have here is the isha for the uh, recycle project uh, this one is between specifications this one is good I don't have to grind them down or anything so all I'm gonna do I'm gonna polish it so to start I'm gonna put them in here this is the nose we're gonna tighten this one down once it's tight remove this one we're gonna bring this one back forward We're gonna release the pilot. There we go. Now we're gonna lock it. As you guys can see, this belt is too tiny. We're gonna go ahead and get maybe like a, well, like like inch and a half or two inches. We're gonna do two inches one. This one don't matter what size it is. Why? Because they're already dead, they're already worn out. So we're going to remove that little tiny one for this one. And once it's there, we're gonna polish our e shop. I'll be right back. Okay, we have our belt in place, ready to go, we're going to get it running, all we want, we're going to put them down, like about, maybe what, 5 to 10 seconds, Move. start from the nose, 5 10 seconds, 5 10 seconds, on the front nose, and we're ready to roll. So this is how it looks when uh, you have the machine on. You have that one there already. Let's get that one on. Turn it on and then start spinning. So what we gotta do is bring it down. Here we have the back nose, this is how it looks. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but it's too shiny for the camera. Let me try to clean it up. Okay, that's already polished. So now we're gonna move to those. So all we're doing here is just polishing. We're not taking any 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 uh, metal off. See the difference already? Getting much shinier. So let me finish the other one and I'll show you how it looks at them. All right, so here we have it. It's already polished. Ready to assemble. So there, the rotors are clean, e-shop is clean and polished, and then all I have to do, I'm just washing right now the, um, the needle bearings, the gear, uh, the counterweight, 
Every time you guys purchase an ASAP, make sure you buy the full assembly, including the little nut at the bottom, the little key, the needle bearings, the flat washer, the huge washer goes um, on top of the stationary gear, the main bolt, uh, the full assembly. So you guys can make sure everything is balanced. But yeah, that's what it is. That's the update on the recycle project. Thanks for watching.